Welcome back to Handy Andy. Um, I'm going to start a project that I've been sitting on for well over a year. Um, it's kind of hard for me. Uh, it has something to do very close to me. I'm going to be restoring my grandmother's rain oil lamp. Now, a rain oil lamp looks like this. with Venus inside is one of the classic ways it looks like in there and I've had it as my piece of well remembrance of my grandmother she died from CJD which uh, I have a hard time pronouncing the real word but basically it's a form of mad cow disease that happens um, when your brain just decides to do it itself instead of consuming infected blood, uh, infected cow brain tissue. So this was up in my grandmother's house since they moved into it, which is somewhere in the 60s. And it hung in the living room forever. Um, so, this coming Friday is my mom's death anniversary. So, I figured in honor of her and that of my grandmother's, I think we should restore this. Make it work. Um, ideally, the little strings that you see, which are monofilament, um, should have little drops of oil coming through them. And then it's backlit with a light. So, I think we should do it justice, fully restore it, and hang it up in my living area so I have something to remember my grandmother and my mother from. And also just to show you, here's some pictures that I found of my mom and my grandma with them, and also my grandfather who I have to tell you is the one that drove me to be the tinkerer I am, and really probably why this channel exists because he had a lot of the tools I have here but he never really got around to using them um, because of cancer and that's what my mom died from too also so um, I reached out to a gentleman on Facebook which I'm going to put props to him in the description below and he sells these I don't know if he refurbishes them or whatnot so I have uh, someone I can talk to um, to get some resources and whatnot um, so I think the first thing we're going to do is uh, Take the top and bottom off. See how bad this stuff is underneath here. Um, the oil is pretty nasty. Um, I had to pour the rest of it out. Let me show you guys what it looks like. See you in a second. Well, here's the oil my mom took out. You can see it's orangish red. And she was using a syringe to pull it out. And that's what was in it. And there's like the spider and all this other crap. Now, what's supposed to be in it is clean mineral oil. Alright, so this is what it should look like. Clear, liquidy, kind of smooth. It's just clear mineral oil. I got this at a hardware supply store to fill this when my grandmother was alive. So I need to find it in bulk. So, I think we should get at it. There's some screws here. I'm having some chipping. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. I want to go vacuum it and check this out. It chipped all up here. I'm kind of disappointed and because what I was doing is I was using the vacuum cleaner with the soft bristles to clean off the dust. So I, I saved it. All the pieces are there so I'm hoping I'll be able to put them back in there. Again, this is actually the back. See, there's her butt. So let's see where this goes. I'm going to change the angle now and uh, turn on the big bright light.
So that wasn't too bad. Um, I was able to take it apart very nicely. Three screws. What I was showing there is I use an Altoid tin that has a closed top so I can then close this and make sure all the parts like the screws and the bo broken pieces that I took off. It just has two little wires that goes to the light fixture and the light bulb actually broke right off of it. Um, see, see it's not there anymore. Um, that's fine. Um, I, I'm, I really want to actually replace it with one uh, made from a um, uh, well, I want to replace it with an LED work version, so I'm going to put an LED light in here. Next uh, is the bottom. Let's see what goes on there. Alright, that should do it for that part. Um, I think the light bulb I have to take out from within the wires. Let's see, I think this is how you do it. Let me do it very nice and calmly. And this is an old, what is this, an old 50 watt Sylvania. Um, I'll have to find something equivalent to it in LED. And there we go. It looks like the pump is actually in the base. I didn't think about that. Um, I was thinking the, butt, the pump would be sitting way down in here, but it's, it's right there. Big old pump. Wow. And it's held in with some wires, it looks like. I'm wondering if my... Uh, my grandfather didn't fix this at one point, but yeah, this is nasty. There's all sorts of bugs in here, and oof. So, I mean, look at that nastiness. You can see all types of nasty stuff in there. So, um, yeah. Well, I'm going to go dump this in the thing I have over there, and then see what's up with this thing. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to plug it all back in upstairs. I'm going to see if it turns. And if the impeller turns, I think what it is is just a little pipe here. It's just hard. And if that's the case, it shouldn't be too hard to replace. Because what it does is it pumps it up one of these side tubes here and goes up to the top. So let's see what it is. This is just really cool, actually. I'm glad I'm doing it. Oh, here goes nothing. Let's see what this bad boy does. Let me bring you in nice and tight. Let's see if this thing turns. Ah, that's it. It's not turning very fast. But I think maybe we can rehabilitate it. So let's see. I'm gonna take it out. Look how nasty that is. I really think I need to replace that. Um, with something a little bit more flexible. <laughs>
Well, that's what it looks like underneath. There's just some rubber here. Um, I'm going to probably clean that rubber up a bit. Um, it's, I can understand that so it doesn't transfer the vibrations into the rest of the, the artwork. Um, it's saturated in oil. Double stick tape is even peeling off of it. But the rest of this is pretty okay. The wires here did break off a little prematurely, but it looks like I can replace them. So I'm not too worried about that. Also, I'm gonna take out this wire. This is the wire that's hooked up to the motor. And I'm gonna keep cleaning this. I wanna clean this up nice and good. Um, they said I can use alcohol um, to clean it, but um, yeah, we're going to see about that. I mean, look at how nasty that oil is. And of course it's going to start dripping this way now, because it's upside down. It's okay. I'm okay with that. And I remember as a kid that some of these were clogged, that were coming down this way, so not all of them were dripping right. Um, also, the gentleman I talked to said that um, I need a test to see if denatured alcohol um, will actually clean these up. Um, I really don't want to have to rerun them, um, but if need be, I can. They're just fishing wire actually but my main concern right now is actually getting this pump working um, and then uh, getting this up and running and hung up in my living room so I'm gonna move this out of the way I'll be right back all right so I popped it open I guess it stopped recording um, it's full of oil this whole thing is I thought this thing would be just sealed. But I guess not. Maybe that's why this big screws here. Um, I'm going to ask the guy that I talked to. But everything looks fine. The only thing I wonder is that how much garbage is back in here. Back inside the bearing. Um, so back here is a bearing that holds this, and I'm wondering if that's what's causing it to malfunction. Uh, that's going to be it for today. Um, the pump looks to be okay itself. I mean, it just has some oil in it. Looks like the same oil that's in there, which I'm going to go dump out in there. But yeah, that's it. So this is going to be part one. I'm going to see if I can get a replacement motor or get this one fixed. Um, if I try, if I get it fixed, uh, I'll update you guys. But um, yeah, this is where we're at right now. See you guys later.